I would have families come to me and say, we're at a baseball tournament, football tournament, whatever, and we can't be here at church on Sunday. And one, I know one family that challenged another one of those families, one vet, dad challenged another dad. Why are you doing that? And he's like, well, the team needs him. And he says, yeah, but if you didn't play, the team would really be quickly rethinking how they schedule their stuff. Right. But he said this one, another dad I, who was challenged, this was his defense. He goes, the reason they challenged me is their son has no talent. Uh, and I thought to myself, are you kidding me? You have just told your son that football or baseball or whatever the sport is, is more important than worship and when that child had got older that child disappeared from church the parent is astounded the the baseball career is over of that yeah. child right. but they i thought you know even if your son got to be playing in the major league world he's in the world series he becomes the mvp but i think jesus talked about this when he said what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul now, I'm not saying that I, I don't want to be legalistic, and it depends on because the Sabbath was made for man, not man for Sabbath. But I do think that we are we are advocating things and showing what we really value by our actions. And you can go the other way, too. I mean, I, I've known some people that become so legalistic about it that they they don't let it, for, for lack of a better term, breathe. And it became a straitjacket for them rather than the point of the sabbath was to rest and reflect and be with god's people and understand and and, and honor god and to return the dead horse that i've just been flogging <laughs> if, 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 in, if indeed we are and i'm not and i'm not creating an excuse to do sports on the sabbath but i am saying that if if taking my kids out of worship on Sunday to do sports, and that's the only day that I worship with my family, that is devastating. But if mm -hmm. that Sunday was one of seven days out of worshiping every day with my family in my house, then not doing that for one day is not as devastating as it is if that's the only day that I worship with my family was in that church building. I'm, I'm, I'm still not saying to, to go play sports instead of uh, going uh, to be with the body of Christ. But I am saying if you're worshiping in your home with your family every day of the week, then going and playing a ball game is not going to be so spiritually devastating. 